Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I've noticed that you've been really enjoying my curtain bangs content. If you haven't seen my playlist, I'll leave it right here. Today I'll be showing you how to style curtain bangs with a flat iron. I will have to say, I don't really use my flat iron to style my hair. You will rarely ever see my hair straight in any of my videos. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I tend to keep my hair naturally wavy or I do curls. It's usually one or the other or maybe uh, some sort of blowout. So today I straightened my hair. I'm going to show you my way of doing it, but again, I like doing it a different way. If you guys want to see how I usually do it, my go-to way of how to style curtain bangs, I'll leave the video right here. Right now, my bangs look very flat and they're just against my face. We need some volume and a little bit of zhuzh. So to do that, I'm going to be using a dry shampoo. I'm actually testing out Together Beauty. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand. I believe you can get this at Sephora. It's called Life in the Fast Lane. I really like how there's no sulfates, parabens, silicones. It's 100% cruelty-free and vegan. Everything is on the front, but something like this is crucial when styling your hair, especially on Second day hair now. I washed my hair, but since I straightened it, it looks quite flat at the root So I really want to add some more volume Look at that, it's already better. I will say this dry shampoo leaves a white cast, so make sure to rub it all in. Honestly, this looks pretty good. I feel like I should just call it a day and we just end this video. You know, like this is it. This looks great. I'm just kidding guys. All right, let's actually get into it. So make sure to separate your bangs from the rest of your hair. Now that we have both sides done, we're gonna start off with whatever side you would like. I'm gonna start off with my right side. In my opinion, you can do it two different ways. You can hold your straightener, which way would it be? This way, whatever this way is. So this is horizontal, I guess this would be more vertical. I don't know, this way. Does that make any sense? Pull the outside of the flat iron away from your face. So like this, because what you're doing is you're trying to create a little bump. So you're gonna put the flat iron, so pretend my hair is in this, and then you're gonna go like that. I really hope that makes sense. Or this tutorial was an absolute fail and I'm sorry, but that is one way you can do it. So hold and then go like this. Sometimes you have to go over it twice to make sure it's really smooth. Keep in mind guys, I hardly use a straightener. There we go. Okay, there it is. Just like that. And then the other way you can do it is, you know how people add curls to their hair with a straightener? It's the same method. How do they do it? I don't know because I'm not that great at it. What has worked for me is, instead of holding a flat iron this way, you would hold it horizontal to your head and then go like that. I don't know, that didn't look that great. So horizontal. Curl it, you can put your fingers on the edge, just be careful, and then like that. See how it just gives that little wave? But keep in mind, it looks different to this side. This side just has that little bend at the top, and then this has more of a wave towards the bottom. Both ways are really cute. It kind of just depends on what you're looking for. Since the rest of my hair is straight, I'm gonna go with this way, and I'll just fix this one real quick. And there we go. We have our curtain bangs using a flat iron. I know, it's simple, so easy. Why did you have to watch a video? I don't know. But this video is here to help you if you guys need any type of guidance. Super easy and straight to the point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like it and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content